Hey Fit Fam, it's Coach Rai from Functional Flex, Team FFLEX. Subscribe to this channel right now for me because i got crazy good stuff on here, a lot of content that people just don't want to give you or they want to charge you a ton of money for and I'm doing it for free. So subscribe to this. Today we're going to talk about nutrition, a little bit about supplementation. So fat burning. A lot of people think when you want to lose weight, you want to burn fat, you want to get chilled, lean down, whatever you want to do. First thing you gotta do is get a fat burner. And I get a lot of questions about fat burners. I get a lot of people that ask me randomly in DMs or emails or whatever, clients even that say, hey, what fat burner do I need? What fat burner should I get? Blah, blah, fucking blah. And the truth of the matter is, fat burner is the last thing you need to worry about when it comes to fat loss. And this is kind of a misconception, it's kind of a misidea, and it's not necessarily your fault because it's marketed to you that those are the keys to getting fat loss. Those are what you should do. First thing you should do, go get a pill, go get a powder, go get a supplement to take to help you burn fat. I'm going to tell you exactly what a fat burner is not right now. I'm not going to go into what it does, what it doesn't do, all this shit today. I will eventually, but not today. What I'm going to tell you right now, though, is that it definitely is not the only variable that you need to be concerned with when it comes to body fat. And it's probably the very fucking last one. The actual things that you need to be concerned with when it comes to burning body fat or losing weight is you need to get your damn nutrition in line. You got to know what you're doing with your proteins, your carbs, your fats, your fibers, your macronutrients, and you got to have the correct caloric intake. That means that you're going to have to pay attention to the foods you eat. You need to either follow some type of a meal plan, you need to track your macros, do some flexible dieting, or you need to pay attention to your calories at least overall to make sure that you're in a caloric deficit. Calories in a deficit, burn body fat, and that's it. There's no complicated bullshit, there's no garbage to feed you, there's no supplements I can charge you for. You burn fat by putting your calories into a deficit and sustaining them over time. So that means that we need to get the maintenance caloric intake for whatever body weight you are now. Very simple to do this. And then you need to drop that number down and you're going to burn body fat. Now of course there's other variables, there's other things, there's stuff that should be coached, etc. But for very, very starters, First thing you should do is figure out how to take control of your nutrition, not go look for a fat burner. Second thing you need to pay most attention to is how you're going to be training. You can train in different ways to favor different results. So, for example, if we want to um, burn more body fat, you train with little rest, you train with no rest, you do a lot of supersets, a lot of drop sets, you're always moving around the gym, going back and forth between exercises, whatever, so that you're kind of getting a cardiovascular benefit while you're training. That's going to help you burn body fat. But for most of you, you just need to actually follow a damn training plan, whether it be doing one body part a day, doing a two-day split, doing whatever, three-day, four-day, five-day split, whatever it is. You need to be consistent with your training. You need to continue to train. And you need to make sure that you don't miss days in the damn gym. Cardio is the last thing that you need to worry about here. You need to get a consistent training schedule down where you're going to lift weights and you're going to challenge your body and grow muscles. And you also need to get your damn nutrition under control. Now, fat burners. Where do they actually come into play if you were going to take one? And what would I even suggest? I would suggest that, honestly, you do that as the last ditch effort for anything else because it's really not doing much more for you than a cup of coffee. Coffee. The key ingredient in most fat burners is just caffeine. You can get caffeine in many ways. You can drink coffee, green tea, and you're good to go in a lot of senses. You don't need the fat burners with all the extra bullshit in it. And you can avoid it. You can save yourself some money, save yourself some time. Stop wasting and putting fucking false ideas into a little pill or powder. What you need to do is get your training under control, get your nutrition under control. Consistently track both, monitor your progress, and make adjustments as needed until you fine tune. You can absolutely burn all the body fat you want. You can absolutely lose all the weight you want without ever taking a fat burner or thermogenic or anything like that. If you want to do those things, that is of course your call, that's up to you if you want to add it to the table, but make sure that you do not try to go about a fat loss journey without getting the training and without getting the nutrition at 110 fucking percent. Coach Rye is out.